I'm Malcolm Van Delst, and this is an excerpt from Do the Wrong Thing, a book series or extra long novel that opens with a woman trying to kill herself. She says, I don't know why I tried to do this, and by way of explanation, tells her life story. We are about uh, 70 pages into book three, whose working title is Shiny Pretty Gothic. Last week in Shiny Pretty Gothic, Ava dreamt of an avant-garde building where she was chased by a redheaded man named Michael, and then she wrote a short story. And I'm bringing the short story back this week, the beginning of it, hopefully improved. This chapter is called The Warehouse, it used to be called Art. The sun slants across my table. I write it out in longhand all in one go, delighted to leave my own experience for an hour or so. The story is called White Walls and it's about a woman in an insane asylum and her daughter. It's told in jaggy pieces with short stories that don't always connect to the main one. Here it is. White walls, mother. The walls and ceiling are white, the floor is gray. My clothes are white, my sheets and pillow, the night table and the chair by the door, the curtains, my eyes and head are white. Outside in the garden, white people, the grass is green. Inside, past, present, future, time, space, no identity. I can't call for help without driving people away. That's what Beth said, that's why I'm here. The baby plays on the green and white checkerboard floor. It makes a mess with its orange, Mr. Freezy. What a quiet child. What a stupid child. The nurse brings supper. A dry slab of meat, brown, mashed potatoes, gray, gravy, brown, half a cup of peas, green, coleslaw, pale green, coffee, gray, jello, red, and cake, crumbling, white. Don says I take things too seriously. Christmas time, that new clock with an electric chime sitting on the couch, it began to fall, helpless, too many parcels in the way. I watched it crash. Mommy, mommy. Which child is that? Is it my own or my mom's? I can't even tell. I wish they'd shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Flowers to be mended. The cats have gone through the gardens again, ripping up violets and petunias, breaking my tulips, bending my peonies. I have the nicest flowers in the neighborhood. Had. Spring and all the planning to be done. Fall, all the digging up. In the winter, there's Christmas and summer holidays. The beach, camping. All my brothers and sisters can go, but I can't because of the cows. Dawn says I can go without them, but I won't go alone. Stanley is a mess, popsicle and sand. I lug him to the water and wash him. He cries because the water is cold. Too fucking bad. There's a slight unevenness to the ceiling. These sheets have too much starch. These hands lying on my stomach, man-sized, big-knuckled, bony, with a skin step stretched tight and shiny across the backs as if they lived in Javix. Whose are they? Whoever she is, she is disgusting. Whack, I backhand Ava across the side of her head. She didn't sweep the kitchen floor. I can see the puff wheat scattered under the table. Is she that stupid? Kids are such pigs. Back in Germany, the kitchen was attached to the barn with a short change room in between. Every meal smelled like shit. Nine greedy arms reaching across the table to dip bread in bacon fat. Nine greasy hands and behind them greasy faces. Bright, dull children's eyes, I hate them. Jute isn't all greasy. I keep him and myself clean when I feed him. I'm hungry, but I won't be part of this. I'll eat later when everyone's asleep. Dan was handsome and strong when we met dignified, quiet, a carpenter. I'd get off the farm. Then he lost all his money and back to the farm I went. Someday I'll have a large house and no farm. I'll watch soap operas and give to charities. Perhaps I'll adopt or just look after some refugees. Ah! Mabel, she sure screams a lot. I wish they'd put her in a room away from mine. Poor Mabel. Then my daughter rebelled thinks she doesn't need me. <laughs> Where is she now after her useless university degree? It's that teacher's fault telling her she could write. <laughs> she tried to take Christian with her with all her reading and studying. He's going to go bad, just like her. Studies as hard as she does and fills his room with pictures like her. Reads. Still, always doing sweet things to cheer me up. Flowers, presents. Makes me feel like a queen. I won't let him get away, not like Ava. Quiet. Mabel quit screaming. They must have shot her full of morphine.
daughter. Dull green walls, tape cassette plugged into an outlet. Christian's bad drawings in red magic marker. The hum outside. Michelle's cassette playing Billie Holiday. A new hum outside. The gray sun on this paper, molted from the clouds. My mother is with me. She's screaming through my old watch with the black lace wristband. She wants acknowledgement, and she's getting acknowledgement. I've eaten too much. I feel heavy, grounded, but I'm still eating. It feels good. The teddy bear Christian gave me stares at me. He wants me to come to bed. He's lonely. Why did I leave my brothers? I didn't, but I can't go home. I can't stand to be loved without being allowed to grow. Now I feel sick. I shouldn't have eaten that last roll. I can't get sick because Michelle and Jackie are here. I have to pee. There's nothing left to eat except cucumber. My turtle is staring at me from the lamp stand, a wonderful tawny stone. If I ever find out where Michael, who discussed turtles with me, is living, I'll send it to him. He'll know where it came from. Turtles. What everyone needs. Turtles. Turtle. Turt. My mother would disagree. Nonsense. She'd snap. Go do the dishes. And there I'd find 20 turtles lying stomach up in the water. The bubbles would pop and I'd see greasy orange suds. My soft sister would dry, afraid of my temper. Oh, where are the turtles now? I want to escape reality, but I can't. There's my box of Tampax. There's the grease on my page from that last roll. The cat crosses the floor at my elbow. Voices Michelle and Jackie. Sun on the back of my hand. Words stare. I'm going to be a great writer now, I think. I notice that bear looking like Dally painted him on my rumpled bed. I can't escape reality. It has no continuity. I'm here, I'm there, but I don't move from one place to the other. I don't recognize what I just wrote. I see the thesaurus, the glass of orange juice. Page two of the story, the purple berries on my shirt. But I don't know what any of these are without looking away and thinking about them. I need to be Adam, renaming everything. Schlock, megaforce, transistent, schloop, grammatic, hemophore, Arnanian, arpeggio, angkor. Reality slips away when you understand it. My mother would not agree. I do not want a past. La mer. Voices keeping me from sleeping. There's mom. Can't make out what she's saying. There's bet, snooty bet. Married a man 10 years older than herself, lives in high style in Arbor with nice, quiet kids, not moody ones like mine. How does she do it? I deserve nice kids. Not her. There's blankets, scratch. Sounds are strange in here. There's someone running down the hall, you know, someone else. Oh, it's cigars. They're splitting up. Who are they chasing? Or two Theo screaming again. I wouldn't want to be a guard in this place. There's the air conditioning. What's that other home? I hear it every night, but it's gone when the morning comes. Thirsty. It'll be good to get up and walk around. Maybe then I'll sleep. Mm, water's good and my throat feels good. I look older than 48. Too much work in on the farm and all those kids. When we were driving from Ofton, the car broke down. All the men piled out and tried to fix it. I sat by the road with my arms around my two youngest brothers. I was glad to get out where I could breathe. I could see the castle in the distance, the forest, an apple orchard, a cornfield. The men were going back to Australia. My father wanted to go too. I'm glad they're going back, creepy, laughing men. They don't know children and what we need. As if it would be good to move us to a new country. We need roots and stability. I'm glad the car broke down. I hope they missed their boat. 